I served in the United States Army for eight years and deployed twice to Afghanistan. I stand before you today because of the brave men and women who came before me that selflessly defended our freedom, our liberty, and our nation. Today, we honor the courage of those who put themselves in harm's way to save people they never knew. We will never forget. To my fellow Mountaineers here today, I challenge you to stay true to the spirit of those we have lost, not just on this day, but every day. We must remember what made us strong in the aftermath of the attacks on our country and on our way of life. We must remember the loyalty, faithfulness, and love we share for our neighbors. Above all, we must get up each and every day and live up to their sacrifice. Never forget. The tragic events of 20 years ago shape many aspects of the world we now live in. That is why it is important why it is critical to pause and reflect on this milestone anniversary. It is important to remember uh, the West Virginia University alumni who died in the World Trade Center attacks, uh, Chris Gray and Jim Samuel uh, Jr. They were young men, very young men, in the early stage of successful careers when their lives were cut short. We also honor the Mountaineers who have served in the military over the past two decades, and ably so. The values that make us who we are as mountaineers are ones that we all share. Compassion, commitment, and courage that endures through both triumph and certainly through tragedy. Several days after 9-11, then President David Hardesty stood near here and attempted to comfort the mountaineer community following the attacks. We must look into our own hearts and summon the individual and collective strength we will need to keep America the home of the brave and the land of the free and keep the flames of freedom burning around the world. Because we are mountaineers, we can do nothing less. Montani Semper Libri, mountaineers are always free. That message is even more powerful today, I would suggest. I would also say that we must never forget. 